And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to print out pure palladium with no hydration or humidification of the paper. You mix up the sensitizer, you brush it onto the paper, you dry the paper, and then you print. To start, I'm going to prep my brush. Because this is a dry printout process, we don't want to humidify our paper. We don't want to humidify it even with a wet brush. We want to have the brush just damp enough so that it doesn't soak up the metal when we brush it on, but not so damp that it affects the paper. If you introduce hydration or humidification into the process, you just ask for trouble. It creates problems, offers no benefit. The chemicals I'm going to use are 10 ml of a 40% solution of ammonium peroxylate, to which I previously added 8 drops of 2% ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is vitamin C. Prepare a 2% solution by dissolving 1 gram of vitamin C ascorbic acid powder or crystals, which you can get almost anywhere, drugstores, pharmacies, health food stores, and so on. Dissolve 1 gram in 50 ml of distilled water. Very easy, very quick. You've got a 2% solution of vitamin C, ascorbic acid. Add 8 drops of that ascorbic acid solution to 10 milliliters of 40% ammonium ferrocoxalate. Now I'm going to add 3 drops to the shot glass here. Incidentally, you can also use lithium ferrocoxalate. You can obtain that from Bostick and Sullivan. Same condition, add 8 drops of 2% ascorbic acid to 10 ml of lithium ferrocoxalate. The advantage of using lithium ferrocoxalate it is that it is very much contrastier. It's much contrastier than ammonium ferrocoxalate. As a result, you don't need to add, add a contrast booster. You can just print with no, no further contrast boost. Here I have potassium palladium chloride. I'm adding four drops. Now for the zeotype process, if you're at all familiar with that, you use lithium palladium chloride. You can use lithium palladium chloride for this process, but you don't have to. You can use potassium palladium chloride as well. You purchase potassium palladium chloride by the, by the gram from artcraftchemicals.com, Artcraft Chemicals in Altamont, New York. You dissolve one gram of potassium palladium chloride mixed with one half gram of sodium chloride, which is table salt, in four ml of distilled water. When you're done dissolving that, it doesn't take long, it's not hard, just stir and stir and stir, it'll dissolve. When it does dissolve, top it off to six ml and you'll have a 15% solution of potassium palladium chloride. One drop of 26% ferric oxalate. Ferric oxalate is the chemical traditionally mixed with uh, platinum and palladium for making platinum and palladium prints that you develop out. However, in this context, it simply serves to boost contrast. It gives the um, image a little more contrast, which you generally need because palladium, of course, is a very low contrast medium. Now, you just pour the mix out onto the paper. You want to get it brushed out fairly quickly. You want it to get brushed out so that it doesn't stain the paper. That can happen if you let it just linger. Don't do that. Brush it out, get it out, cover the area you need. Then you can brush at angles back and forth and smooth it. Just don't want to leave any streaks in the paper, in the image. Once you've got it brushed out smoothly, you can place it in a box or in a closet, someplace dark, to dry. The print is dried, I've mounted it in a contact print frame. The frame is just a sheet of plywood, cut in half, strip of painter's tape, a couple of uh, clamps, 
to hold the wood and the glass firmly together. I've got a couple of sheets of uh, scrap paper in there and paper mylar and negative. I always use mylar two mil thick because when this heats up under the UV lamps, even though the paper's dry, even though it started out dry and I've let it dry after applying sensitizers to it, it's still damp in there, at least in the um, sensitized area. And when the heat and the UV light hit it, it gives off vapors, and those vapors can damage a film negative. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the UV box. Print it out. There's the box. You notice I'm wearing sunglasses. These sunglasses are coated 100% effective against UV light. You really don't want UVB light striking your eyes. It can cause glaucoma. Let's see how we're doing. It may actually be ready. It's coming along very nicely. The uh, brown caused by the excess iron used as a result of the ferric oxalate. But the ferric oxalate isn't serving any image forming purpose. It's simply there to boost contrast. This may be ready. By golly, I'd say it's ready. Yeah. You can't see it, but I'll show it to you in a minute. Let me turn this off. That's how fast it prints out. You can time it. I haven't interrupted. I haven't stopped the camera. And we've got print out already. Now that I've perfected printing with gold, perfected dry printout with platinum, perfected printout with palladium dry, and invented printout with gold and platinum, my next step, I think, is going to be come up with a way to make it even more sensitive so you can use this. You can cut a sheet of paper and put it in your camera. It's all right. It's a little light. I'll show it to you before I put it in the water. I think it's going to darken a bit in the water. What's going to happen? You can see that there. I'll hold it to the light for you. See how it's sort of orangish, ochre? That's going to go away. And so uh, it's like uh, if you're looking at this with an orange filter, it would look a lot lighter than it is. That's what's going to happen, except that I think the water will probably darken a little. Let's we'll see. It's not darkening a lot, unfortunately. However, it's a print. I should have left it in a little longer. 